Uh, hey everyone, welcome back to Winterfell Camp, me lad from the woods. Well, today is now April the 4th, and the snowstorm has been going, and it's, uh... I was going to say it's not as bad as they said, but it actually is. Um, just let me warm up my coffee here, and uh, I'll show you, give you guys a peek. I'm going to have to go outside and bring some firewood in, because... Uh, Fire's gone down, and I'm just running the uh, the uh, the quartz heater right now, and uh, it's not keeping up today. It normally would because it's not that cold. It's only minus one. Anyway, there you go, uh, folks. Uh, <laughs> the magic bus. Everything is covered in snow. April the 4th, can you believe this? We've had uh, at least a half a dozen or more uh, power outages um, since this started. Uh, through the night when I fell asleep, uh, I was wakened several times uh, when the power keeps going out, um, you know, because I can hear it. <laughs> um, anyways, I didn't bother... It, there was nothing that stayed long enough that I had to worry about getting cold or anything. The wood stove was still warm anyways. Uh, but now if the power goes out, I'm going to have to obviously do something. So, and it's staying around minus one and it's not going to change the temperature. It looked, excuse me, it looks like for the rest of the day until tomorrow. Um, they're still calling. So we've gotten... Uh, we didn't. We ha we haven't got a foot of snow. Um, I'm going to say about six inches is uh, what we've gotten so far. So 15 centimeters. So maybe not as bad uh, uh, depth wise, but the snow is heavy, and it's uh, it's in the the branches and everything. So I'm surprised that we've been keeping the power as much as we have, even though we've lost it like half a dozen times. So uh, I guess uh, you know. Anyway. I'm glad I covered the uh, the wood the way I did, so it'll be easy to get to. I won't have to do a whole lot of digging out of the snow or anything, so I'll grab a few armfuls and bring them in, and then uh, <coughs> I don't think I have any coals left, so I'm going to have to start everything fresh again. But yeah, that's what's going on. So how long this lasts, I don't know. Uh, meaning on the ground, like I said earlier in the video. Which reminds me, i got to start uploading videos. I'm way behind in my uploading. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, I was going to check the weather. Just to give you an idea of where we're headed here. It's uh, quarter after one. I'm going to call my mother, I think, after I'm done with you guys, just to check in on her. Um, she may want me to go down and get her newspaper and stuff, because she shouldn't be walking out in that. Oh, it's actually down to minus two. So, I may actually just get lazy and fire up the big propane furnace until I'm ready to go outside. But here's the scoop. Friday, tomorrow, the 5th, uh, it's going to be a high of 4 Celsius, and then it goes down to 0, which is 32 Fahrenheit for, uh, for the Americans there. Then Saturday it starts to warm up again, uh, plus 6, but then minus 1 at night. Sunday, plus 10, which is 50 to Fahrenheit. That's the high. 15 on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all 15. So it's warming right up. Uh, starting Tuesday, it doesn't go below 0 at night anymore, it looks like. So it... it <laughs> I shouldn't say this, I'll jinx myself, but I would say, okay, this is it for the wood stove. Another day or two of wood stove and that'll be it. But when I say that and check the next two weeks, uh, from uh, Friday the 12th till Thursday the 18th, um, all the days are, you know, 13 Celsius, you know, 50, 60 degrees, whatever, Fahrenheit. But at night it's staying down like, you know, like 32 Fahrenheit, 32, 32, 33, 34, or plus three Celsius, plus two Celsius, minus one again. So I'm not going to jinx myself and say that it's over and I'm going to be finished with the wood stove for the season because that's probably not right. Um, oh, there's somebody going by. 
I hope that snowplow guy doesn't bother coming. I don't want to have to pay him for this because uh, this this would be just a waste. I understand now. I mean, if they think we need to get out, but I don't need to go anywhere. I can stay right here. And even if I did, I got the 4 by 4 So um, there's nothing to be done. I mean, True can't come and do any work. Like the work I wanted him done is now buried under snow. And uh, so plus he's probably got his own stuff going on too uh, with his construction not his construction his handyman stuff which is starting to pick up thankfully um you know it, i mean it hurts me in a way because he's not as available for me but he's my friend not just somebody that comes here and works and uh so i want him to get get his business and get things going and stuff like that so he's a good guy really 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 good guy so um, so there we is, man. There's your update. Uh, I'll be uploading more here as I go. I'm just having my coffee and stuff like that. I, uh, I, I woke up at around quarter after six this morning and went, you know, did some things, uh, a couple of power outages, watched the news and then fell asleep. Power outages, woke up, fell asleep. And then I finally woke up uh, when my friend uh, from uh, Washington, D.C., uh, she sent me a text saying good good afternoon, good morning. So I had sent her a good morning like way earlier. So but she works nights. So her like she works like till like eight in the morning or something. So um, I won't hear like her response, you know, usually for a few hours. So anyway. <laughs> Going on, Wally. Wally sneaking up behind me here. Yeah, I guess that's about it. I'm just going to go work on YouTube, up, keep uploading uh, the storm stuff, because I'm way behind, at least when it comes to the, the shorts. I'm about to upload uh, the next uh, full length. And there we go. What do we got here? Did I get a message from somebody? Who's Promo SM? What? Our Waters, promo SM. I have no, and then I put a sad face. I don't know what that means. Okay, Our Waters, I have no idea what you're trying to say. I don't know what promo SM means. So, got to remember, man, I'm not Gen... Okay, what do we call millennials now? I, I heard somebody call it different. Gen, Gen Y? Yeah, because I'm boomer, young boomer. The end of the boomer line, kind of. And then Gen X is the ones after us. And then it's millennials, or okay, Gen Y, and then now Gen Z. Gen Z, Gen Z. Gen Z, Gen Z. You guys I get along with. You guys are a whole lot. I, you're probably going to hate to hear this. And the Gen Y millennials, because they hate boomers, will make maybe giggle, but we don't care about them, okay, Gen Z? But you guys are more like us than you'll ever know, man. Like the whole hippie thing, the long hair, the music. The whole attitude and everything i get along with you guys so uh and you guys seem to get along with me for some weird reason um so why am i talking about generations again now zoinks i can't remember now anyway it doesn't matter uh point being is is uh oh yeah sometimes you guys are going to say something and i don't know what it means <laughs> okay so you got to kind of you know, uh, let me know, like, okay, yeah, we're saying that. So, you know what? I am going to turn that furnace on. I'm not ready to go outside yet. It's only uh, 60 in here, so 15 Celsius. And on the floor, it's even colder. The quartz heater says it's 12 Celsius. 12, 12 is 24 plus 30. Is 54, so that's the temperature here right now. So, oh yeah, yeah, it's even. Well, it's about 65 Celsius or Fahrenheit. So I'm just going to set it up here at 21 Fahrenheit. Where is it here? And we'll let the furnace run. It doesn't hurt to let it run once in a while, anyways. better you know like it um, um, 
Same like the diesel heater and the bus that I've learned that you have to run it every once in a while or they start to get hung up. Now, I've, knock on wood, this furnace has run very, very good. It's uh, been in the trailer since 1989. Uh, mind you now, like I say, I don't use it very often anymore. Uh, even uh, before the wood stove, I was using mostly electric heat. I didn't want to pound that furnace unless I really needed it. Because if I got into a situation where it was like minus 30, minus 30 Celsius, like steady, steady, steady for a couple weeks, and it can happen. I can't, uh, with the wood stove, I wouldn't need it, but way it was before I needed that propane furnace to run because there's no way the electric heaters would keep up right so oh there goes the subwoofer now start popping god what a pain in the balls that is I should call that guy it just I, I, I he's gonna want me to bring the, the subwoofer to where he is and he's uh, in Canada which is just just on the west edge of Ottawa it's still a fair distance but then he'll probably want to keep it while he works on it and then I'll have to go back there again and I'm like I don't know if I want to go through all this the only downside to that, it's a good side and a downside, is the subwoofer. Uh, it's a paradigm, um, which I'm not going to say is the best or anything like that. I'd rather have a Yamaha or something. Is Pioneer any good? Anyways, uh, it used to be. It's a big paradigm uh, subwoofer. It's, uh, uh, what is this one now again? 500 watts or 300 watts? Anyway, it's way more than I need for this trailer, trust me. Way more than what I need for this trailer. <laughs> but uh, I mentioned it before here the other day, is, um, or on one of these other videos, is that it turns out that a lot, this particular model of Paradigm in that one year that I ended up with, there's a little transistor, I guess, that in the manufacturing, it's a bit bent. So it shorts out or so, does something in there, and that's why you hear the popping. So other guys know how to fix it. I don't even want to open it to fix it. So, but I'm aware of the like, I'm aware of other people, you know, saying, "Yeah, there is a problem. Here's what it is," kind of thing. So, okay, I'm just going to upload part two for you guys, the long form, and then you shorts people. Well, I'm just uh, going to have to keep plunking along. Anyways, I think that'll be it for now. Let's not overdo this and get too crazy. Um, I'm filming in this right now with the phone uh, simply because I, I want to do shorts because during the storm we'll go back to the regular filming after the storm uh, storm yeah after the storm is done and use the, the Osmo uh, you know which I haven't been using uh, <laughs> it's such a precious great camera I just I love it so much you know it's like now I don't want to use I'm afraid to scratch I'm afraid to get it dirty I'm afraid to, I'm not but kind of anyways that's the big furnace going. The whole trailer has got, you know, like regular registers on the floor. Like there's one here uh, behind the TV uh, stand. Okay, Goldie. God damn it, Goldie. Sorry, guys. Goldie's uh, not leaving me alone today. They, they've all been acting really, really strange here. So, anyways, she won't be... Uh, she just took a, a run. Okay, Goldie, fuck off. You're a pain in the balls, man. That's you that knocked over. Apologize to the people, man. Goldie, apologize. Hey, apologize. I'm sorry. Yeah, you ought to be. You shouldn't do that. You knocked over the camera and the tripod, and uh, it's lucky the whole copy didn't go. Yeah. Okay, you're a good girl, but that's a bad girl thing to do. <laughs> she doesn't care. She's like, I don't give a shit what humans got to say about any of it. I'm going to do what I want. I'm a cat. And I'm the woman cat, the princess of the trailer. Anyways, like I was saying. I'll be back. I just got a text from someone I want to talk to.